Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash of Clans and today is update day. Now, I put up this Twitter poll about an hour ago now and it seems like half of you hate the update and half of you love the update and some of you are just overwhelmed. Now, I imagine some people who love the update and people who hated the update are also incredibly overwhelmed and this is what happens, you know, when you have a massive update hit the game essentially a new game within the game. So I've thought long and hard now about how the heck do I share this with you guys in a non-overwhelming way, right? I mean, there's so much to talk about, so much to get to, and so many questions that you guys have that I need to answer. So how the heck am I going to do it? Well, thanks to your feedback, you guys, the majority of you guys want me to go ahead and just do a let's play focusing on farming strategies and base building and stuff like that and make it a continuous series. That way you guys aren't overwhelmed. There were no sneak peeks, so you guys just boom, a bomb drop today and certainly a lot of questions more so than there are answers. But hang in there, take a deep breath. We're going to get through it together. You can see I'm on my village right now and I am finally free rebuilding my boat. I'm going to go ahead and gem that bad boy or bad girl. I guess boats are uh, female, right? And then we're going to go ahead and fly off to the new village together here. Now, and this video is going to be the only one that I use the dev build because we're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit into time just to talk about the new things. We want to talk about everything new in as quick a video as possible. That's going to be the goal of today's video is just to cover everything, not in depth, but rattle off everything new in as quick a video as possible. And then we'll get into the let's Play where we really take deep dives into all the strategy that's involved in the new base village or builder village or night village or whatever the heck it's called or the second village or new game. So the base builder village is going to be the subject of today's video. Let's go ahead and hop onto the dev build and I'll explain everything to you guys in a quick video. All right, guys, so here we are at the Builder Village, the second village, the night village, whatever you guys want to call it. We are here. Now, uh, you're seeing the village right over here. Again, this is the developer build here. My name is not really Ketri. That was just the name they, they made for me. So what we're going to do in today's video, we're going to be leaving out a lot of small things, okay? And you guys can discover that on your own, just as I will as well. So, like, for example, a new user interface for the clan menu where you can see your clan mates' uh, Builder Village as well. Stuff like that you guys can kind of discover and play on your own. And of course, we'll cover all these things in future videos. But today, I kind of want to take a tour of this new builder village really quickly and just show you what everything does so you kind of have an idea. When you're trying to farm and upgrade uh, your own village, you'll know exactly what everything does. You can decide whether or not you want to focus on leveling it up and whether you want it. So let's start out with a clock tower here. Clock tower is interesting. You guys probably saw the leak where the, I think it was a Chinese loading screen that said a new speed village this is what they meant by speedy okay essentially every eight hours you can speed everything up in your village we can see the text here the clock tower makes things happen faster in your village uh, collect resources train research and build faster so even building and researching is boosted that's really cool something we haven't seen ever in our traditional home village now uh, I should mention guys home village is totally separate than this village different resources of course the gems do carry over uh, different trophies and uh, yeah, just totally different. So keep in mind the boost also don't apply to your home village. So we're moving on here to the gem mine. Gem mine is going to be a resource for you guys to collect gems. Pretty cool. Uh, it actually has a pretty high capacity. You can see 14 uh, gems and it only produces 3.1 per day. So essentially you cannot log into your builder village for a few days and you can still, you won't miss out, I should say, on any of your gems. Let's talk about the new defenses here because there's quite a few to get to. First of all, traditional defenses, we have the cannon still around. The cannon, there we go, if we can select it. We have the hidden Tesla, and we have the spring trap. Those act as they normally do. We can also see the double cannon, and that moves me to another new feature. And essentially what it does is it allows you to gear up a old cannon, for example, on your base. An old defense, you can gear up and essentially bring over one of the new defenses from your old or your new builder village to your old home village. Okay, so that's going to be a new feature as well. A gear up, it kind of ties in the old home village to the new builder village. Okay, so 
moving on, the double cannon, pretty self-explanatory. It's a double cannon. DPS a little bit lower, but it shoots two cannonballs at once. Uh, also, here we have the Archer Towers. You might not have recognized uh, this Archer Tower, right? I mean, this is kind of funky looking. Uh, so you can choose. You can toggle. It's customization. There's a lot of customization in this new update. So uh, this is one of them. You can see long range or fast attack mode. And you can see the radius is going up and down depending on what I choose it to be. So you can see, for example, the DPS is 53 on the long range and the DPS is 106. So double the DPS if you go to the short range. That's going to make for an interesting decision for you guys. We also have, if we move to the uh, northeast real quickly here, a push trap. A push trap is really cool. You can rotate these and you can see X marks the spot as to where it's going to be vol vaulting, 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 yeah, vaulting the troops that hop on it haphazardly. And what I like to do is shoot it right into the base because it's going to, you can actually synergize it with other traps. So picture a, uh, you know, a few hapless bombers make their way to the push trap and boom, they get thrown right onto the spring traps. So it's a pretty cool new, uh, new trap. Crap. Uh, and we move on to the crusher here. The crusher is a beast. You can see the radius. Let me go ahead and drag it out for you guys. The radius is so small. It's definitely targeting melee units. And it does a ton of damage. 209 DPS at level 5. Now these numbers might be subject to change because again guys, it is the dev build. Even though the update is live, of course I wasn't going to gem up a builder uh, level 5 uh, right away. So let's go ahead and put him back there. So the crusher is again a very strong uh, and uh, powerful, but melee, mostly melee targeting uh, def defense. We have the firecrackers. The firecrackers are kind of like small air defenses, okay? They don't do as much damage as air defenses. That's because your main line of attack, you can see, by the way, the big range on these firecrackers, but your main line of uh, defense, rather, for air attacks is going to be the air bombs. Air bombs, don't be confused by the name, isn't as wimpy as air bombs in your normal home village. Air bombs actually spawns air traps. Again, it's going to be, you're going to want to protect it very well. It's going to be your number one line of defense against air units, even more so than the firecrackers. We also have the multi mortar. Check out the range on this bad boy of the multi mortar. Four shots burst. DPS 37 at level five. Again, those could be subject to change, but you can see the radius is incredible here. It's really kind of akin to an eagle artillery, if you want to think of it that way, protecting your entire base. You're going to want to protect this bad boy as well. So uh, beyond that, let's see, did we discuss everything here? We have mines that you can set to air or ground. Again, customization is the key here. We talked about the double cannon. We talked about the push. We talked about, uh, okay, a mega mine, a mega mine. You can see again, ground or air it's just another massive beast mode uh trap here so the mega mine you can see all kind of protecting the center of the base and of course the guard post how could we forget so the guard post picture it as the clan castle that you don't need to request for okay so no requesting for troops as you level it up the troops become uh, more numerous and also stronger in the guard post you can see guard post level five troop level and defensive troop count uh, both goes up. Right now it's at 4 and 10, and the more you level it up, the more powerful it gets. So we are moving right along here, guys. Again, this is going to be a fast-moving video here. Now, attacks. You guys probably already know this, but everything is in real time this time. So you're attacking somebody, and there's a daily loot uh, l cap, unfortunately. That seems to be something that people are reacting negatively to so far. So we'll see if Supercell adjusts. Remember, this is a lot of information coming at us in a short period of time. It's so hard to digest it all. But basically, what you want to do is battle people in real time now. So you're going to attack their village, and they're going to attack your village. Whoever has the highest percentage or stars wins. So that is basically it. And you can see the wins here. You can see the reward system. It's pretty basic once you can go ahead and pause here and take a look at it if you want. But that's how you're going to be getting your resources and your trophies in this new builder village. So let's talk about the troops before I let you guys go here. So we have new troops. Let's go ahead and train troops here and just go through them one at a time. Now you can fill up your army camps a little bit differently than you do in your home village. Basically, each army camp is going to have one specific troop type, and it's going to carry a certain number of those troops 
per army camp, okay? So it's going to be a little bit different how you train your troops. If anybody's ever seen games like, uh, oh, what games? I don't know, Rival Kingdoms had a, had a, uh, a system very similar to this one. And you can remove uh, the troops in camps 1, 2, 3, and 4, for example, and then add different troops if you want to kind of customize and change your army. Speaking of customization, when you're scouting the opponent's base that you're going to be attacking, you're allotted an entire minute now. And during that minute, instead of 30 seconds, you're actually able to go ahead and customize your army depending on your base. You can change up your troops using troops that you have cooked up and ready to go for your next attack. So it's a little bit of more customization and versatility in terms of the attacker's uh, point of view. So let's take a look at all these new troops here. We have Raged Barbarians. They uh, have a Rage ability. Essentially, these are old troops kind of beefed up for the most part. Some of them are different. And we're going to talk about the new heroes too, as well before I let you guys go. So the, enra the enraged barbarians have like an enraged barbility. Uh, wow. Enraged barbility, Ash? Dude, barbility. That sounds awesome. Okay, an enraged a rage ability, if I can speak. Speak. And a rage ability that lasts a short period of time after you drop them or deploy them onto your opponent's side of the map. The sneaky archers have like an invincibility or invisibility. Either way, it's the same thing. They're invincible and invisible for a short period of time. You can see the boxer giants, they have a really strong first punch. So basically, all these troops are just a little bit of a beefier version of the regular troops back at the home village. And of course, the beta minions these guys shoot from a long distance it's pretty insane uh and we have what else here we have oops we have a bomber the bombers are well we'll just go ahead and read the text here they have extra damage to walls times 15 damage of course but they also have an area splash similar to the regular bombers but they're actually a really strong unit i think way better and more versatile than the traditional bombers we have baby dragons these act the same way as your normal baby dragons and of course we have cannon cart essentially it's cannons on wheels it's an artillery unit and then we have coming soon night witch we have the dropship and we have the super pekka and she is insane uh of course we don't have a timetable right now on those new uh builder uh town hall what do i build your what the heck is it called guys it's called a builder hall ash come on man on these builder hall levels so you can see even me having played the update before on the developer build i'm still overwhelmed i hope this little tour of the update has been able to help you guys kind of get your bearings here excuse the C pun, but try to get your bearings on where everything is and what everything does. Of course, you guys will discover things on your own. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Of course, I said I wouldn't let you go without talking about Battle Machine, and he is your hero at this new builder village. And you can see the Battle Machine at level one here. You can see his stats. Of course, these stats are subject to change because it is still the developer build, even though we are live. And the cool thing about the uh, the hero here versus the traditional barbarian king and archer queen is it has a rechargeable ability so that's something that's really really cool it's something that you can use multiple times and something that you can time while you're attacking giving me giving the attacker even more uh you know opportunity to have strategic and uh, tactical decisions live within a raid so that is going to be it guys you've seen everything there is to see in terms of the new content that's available and what it does in this new builder's village so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will have my let's play series starting tomorrow so we'll <clears throat> so we'll go through everything together so guys thank you so much for watching and as always huge shout out to my youtube partner Brent jong and as always take care guys